Auto World 14 foot Outback Overdrive Extraction HO Slot Car Set is an exciting racing set designed for fans of larger vehicles featuring two detailed semi truck models the Peterbilt 359 and the GM Astro 95. These trucks are paired with a 14 foot Outback Red Track, creating a rugged theme that evokes the feel of trucking through the Australian Outback. Each vehicle utilizes Auto World's extraction chassis, known for better handling, especially around curved and tight sections of the track. The set includes two flamethrower semi trucks known for their glowing headlights, adding a visually appealing touch to the racing experience. The set includes an adjustable voltage power pack, two speed controllers, clip on guardrails. You also get 80 track support pillars and 12 uh, track supports. You get 22 flagpoles that you have to cut off the tree. And to go with those flagpoles, you get one page of stickers. They also give you a track layout map. It takes up a seven foot by three foot area. This is the layout that's on the front of the box. There's three other suggested routes on the back of the box. In the future, I may build those. This is the A setup, the suggested track on the front of the box, and the one I built. Alternate track B, it's an over and under and around. Alternate track layout C looks like it used most of the track supports and pilings to build it. And alternate track layout D, it looks like it'd be fun to drive. Before connecting the track, attach any guardrails to the 9 inch curved track sections by hooking the tabs under the edge of the outside bottom lip, then pull up and snap into place. Got them all done. There's uh, only eight curves, but there's ten guardrails. You got two left over in case you break one, I guess. Following the uh, track layout map, I set the track pieces out first on the table and really came to the conclusion I got to put it diagonal to make it fit. That's the only way it would fit. The track snapped together really easy and uh, was pretty simple to build. I built all the little flags, even though the only ones I'm going to use is the road close one for this setup. The controllers are pretty nice. They have a good feel. The color matches the truck. So this one's for the Peterbilt. The yellow controller is the same as the other one. It's just yellow to match the GMC. You plug in the controller to the controller track. The little dot tells you which track it is. And I had a little trouble putting this thing in. And when I went to go run it, it didn't run. It's kind of tough to see, but I discovered that the little metal connector got pushed in. I don't know whether I did it or if it came from the factory like that. Probably I did it. This is the Peterbilt 359. I'm going to give you a kind of a close-up, let you look at the uh, markings on the truck. Looks like it got kangaroos on it. I really like the details on these trucks. The uh, guides on the bottom there are a little tough to get on the track and sometimes they get stuck and make the thing wreck. They're pretty lightweight and top heavy so you got to go real slow. This is the tractor unit. Really detailed. I really like it and the paint job and all the details for Bertha and you know road train and all that. That's pretty cool plus the dirt they add on so it gives it that real Australian feel. You hook these things together, they don't really hook together real tight, so it will come off when you're running down the track. The yellow truck is the GMC Astro 95, and it's a, a fuel truck. Very nice detail on the tanker part, and this part kind of reminds me of the Road Warrior. Look, add the armaments and the uh, defenses to it, and it looked just like the actual thing. You do got to watch it on mine. The tank will pop off the chassis when you wreck sometimes. Not a big deal. It snaps right back on, but it will pop off and kind of freak you out at first. Again, the cab is really nicely done. It's got the dirt on there, so it looks like it's been running through the outback. And uh, I don't know, it's a nice color too. The orange and yellow kind of really stands out against the red of the track.
and it snaps together like the other one. Again, it's real loose. It will just pop off sometimes for no reason at all, but no big deal. And the last thing to plug in is the uh, power control. It's got the variable dial so you can figure out how much power you want to give it. And you can set the plug up to go either direction, even though they recommended that you go counterclockwise. So that's the way I did it. With this set, you don't really turn it up too much because the trucks just can't go that fast or you'll go about two feet and wreck. Plug the power supply in and then set the dial to about there as found as best, but we're gonna crank it all the way up and see how it does. And of course it wrecks. This is with the power set at a reasonable level. It doesn't go real fast, but you can still wreck it if you go too fast. It pops out of the track sometimes, but then it goes right back in. When I first started running it, I had a lot of trouble with the guide pins getting stuck in the joints of the track. I had to go in with a screwdriver and pry it open and also make sure the tracks are really tightly put together. It's real sensitive in that. But when I finally got it straightened out, it really runs pretty nice. I'm impressed. The GMC gas truck seems to have a lower center of gravity, so it drives much faster through the uh, curves and the straightaways and things. But it does get stuck here if you go too slow on after the S's. So you just got to make sure you keep your speed up going through there. And it'll go through just fine, just like it did there. Drive them both at the same time, which, as you probably know, is not an easy thing to do. If you've seen my other videos, you know I'm primarily a Skelectric 132nd scale fan. But I saw this set and I thought, it was kind of unique. And uh, I haven't done HO slot cars for a long time since I was a little kid. Figured this set was neat enough to get me into it because it's not your normal set. And I got a couple other little HO slot cars I've had a long time. So I can run those in the future. But hey, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Keep on trucking. Hey, mate. down in this untamed battleground racing through the wilderness living